do, I'll uh, start a recap and a summary for the session right now. And we started from the euro uh, versus, versus pound, which I have here. And we mentioned the triple test, triple test that this market has had against the 78.80, a little bit lower, 78.70 uh, level here. One, two, and three, mid of February, end of February, recently, uh, mid of March here. And this market has the potential to continue move, a move lower. We gave, when you review the, um, the, the full uh, the full show we gave a level 7840 uh, in the daily and 7826 on the 4 hour for a continuation uh, of continuation um, a continuation chart uh, fx ambassador is commenting there some markets are being uh, manipulated uh, now big time there are some people who do not believe that it's possible to manipulate forex uh, you know the uh, the excuse they uh, they bring forward is that you know it's uh, it's um, frag um, fragmented markets with tens of prices and uh, tens of institution banks and uh, brokers and operators in the middle. But the reality is that the games are made by nine to thirteen big banks and institutions. So I believe that 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 is still possible. And you know when we look at these levels and the way they work very well. You know, you have to ask yourself, you know, why they work so well. There are two ways. There may be only two ways why they work so well. Either they capture something fundamental about the market or they're brought about by algorithmic trading. So let's say that <coughs> um, FX ambassador. So let's continue here. After that, we reviewed the SP500 and we mentioned that uh, this market has the potential to test the um, 2020 and then continue higher. That's our level of reference for this week. Again, I'm going to define this level with one, two days in advance here. And you have them there, bank 2020. If we get participation there, we use the FIB stalking timing technique to verify whether that level is going to hold or not. We then reviewed silver. We we mentioned that silver is moving in a sequence of measure move on the weekly, long, on the daily and on the four hour. What a beauty. And on the other end, on the other side, gold that it has, has actually has moved a lot in February is now kind of catching up with time and moving laterally, which is a which is a lateral connection uh, correction. It's a time, it's a time correction there. All right, so after that. We briefly reviewed the euro dollar, uh, sorry, the dollar index, and we mentioned the fact that now this market could be pushed lower into that 9430. That's a level to watch this week. See how many levels there are this week to watch. And that level, the 9430, is certainly uh, um, a, very, uh, a very good level. To, uh, to look at this week is very very interesting there are a lot of uh, a lot of area to uh, to uh, watch and the euro dollar if the dollar index is still moving lower and there is still a little room to move into that 34 uh, 9430 maybe in the euro dollar has a little room to keep moving higher into that 113. 90 the money is invoking even higher prices but I don't believe that we're gonna see those higher prices immediately, of course, anything can up, but that's my view. And we then closed with the US dollar Japanese yen, mentioning that uh, visually we see a, th a three um, third test uh, of, uh, of this level here, but uh, to me, this is a violation. So I'm not looking for continuation higher here. Some people might say, you know, uh, stop, uh, stop hunting and all this stuff. That's okay. We need to see the US dollar correcting uh, lower significantly in order for this market to uh, make it higher. And of course, you know, all my uh, dreams of glory and uh, possibility of, you know, seeing next uh, measured moves here are uh, becoming less and less probable here. This like you could just drift down lower into that 170. 
And if that happens, we have a way uh, in our intraday system to capture those kind of situations. So uh, I've, I've worked almost three years to, uh, to find a way to kind of participate to markets that uh, keep screening lower or higher without giving us a, a FIB stalker level. So I, I, you know, I was, uh, you know, it took a lot of time to fill that gap, but um, that's interesting now. <clears throat> and finally, we close with the US dollar Canadian dollar, really not a lot to add in this market. We mentioned that if this market gives us a gift, 13160, this is going to be, um, you know, this is going to be a gift from this market and uh, we're probably going to see a continuation lower into 12070. So I gave you a lot of levels uh, in this review. I hope you, um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, review and uh, only, only with these markets, I mean, we could do very, very well this week. Uh, even if one or two of these levels uh, trade, actually we should be should be in a good uh, position to uh, to actually uh, take advantage of uh, of these opportunities here. There are a few things moving, so it's really up to you. The levels are up there. Uh, it's up to you to um, you know uh, use your tools and whatever you have in your arsenal in order to verify those levels as you know I have the film stalking timing technique which is a procedural technique that uses the presence of algorithms on the smaller time frame and I want to take the um, opportunity here to uh, to remind uh, once again that uh, yesterday I've launched my uh, um, my new session uh, of the uh, coaching, uh, the FIPS Organized Coaching Program, which is a complete approach to successful trading. And these are all the main areas that, uh, and much, much more that I address in, uh, in the coaching program. Uh, the mechanics uh, of trading, developing developing a trading system based on the concept I'm going to provide you. Um, uh, I will uh, give also seven trading systems based on this concept, which you can use uh, right away. And uh, most importantly, we will. Um, I'll show you techniques to reduce risk or zero, uh, or actually zero your risk, and. Um, and also a way to create profitability and consistency. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope it was useful for you. I hope you have, have written down those uh, important levels that uh, this week we're going to see in this market. There's going to be other levels in other markets as well. This is going to be a very interesting uh, week. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's lighter in news uh, compared to the last two weeks. We were very uh, heavy, and we will see what happens and what the market brings uh, to us. Uh, and we always, um, you know, face Sundays with anticipation, not expectation, but anticipation, uh, and but with an expectation of managing our risk in the right way. All right, so thanks a lot for being here. I wish you a great weekend, week, trading week or non-trading week. And uh, I'll see my students uh, tonight at 2 a.m. EST for our um, soul care trading room. Thanks a lot and see you tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. EST. Bye-bye now.